Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Star Wars Edition model 75082. It's the Thai Advanced Prototype and this is what it looks like. When I saw this in the store I was like, you know what, this is probably going to be really cool because these can probably move, these hatches can probably move, and also we've got three new minifigs. So the new minifigs as you can see is the Fighter Pilot, the Imperial Officer, and the Inquisitor. And here we've got another view of them, as you can see the guy in the middle, he's got a white face and a pretty scary look on his face. Looking on the back of the box, we can see some of the movements. As you can see, uh, this thing seems like it can rotate and some little red things fire out. In here I was right that um, these things fold up and down. In here you can see that the hatches do move. This one moves up and this one moves down. So unfortunately this box is empty. The only thing that's in there is the instruction booklet because I actually already filmed this and I did time lapse and I did everything. This was supposed to be my very first video on this channel. However, uh, I edited the video and I went to export and it said that it cannot export because the footage was corrupt. So all that time to uh, you know edit and, and film the time lapse of building it for nothing. So I am just going to go straight to the review and we'll have fun with that instead. So this is the first of the three new minifigs. This is the Imperial Officer. He comes in a very nice sort of uh, tan type of color. Um, he's got some markings on the front. This is not a sticker. This is just printed on like most minifigs. And also on the back, he's also got a design as well. This is the fighter pilot that comes with the set as well. It's a new one. As you can see, he's got a very big helmet on. And underneath, you can see that he's not really too happy. Uh, he's got two guns. I'm not sure if these were actually supposed to go with the Imperial officer or with the fighter pilot. But I decided to put them with him because they are black. And as you can see, he's also got some pretty nice looking decals on the front and on the back. And this is the Inquisitor. I really like this one because he's sort of got this armor that goes up. Uh, he's got this uh, sort of dual lightsaber going on and he's also got the uh, decals running all the way down onto his legs. You can see he's also got the decal on the helmet on the one side and you can see his eyes through here. That's not printed onto the helmet, that's just a red covering and it covers up his white face which is a bit scary, sort of like a clown face. And you can see on the back of him too, he's also got a space so you can hold his dual lightsaber on there and then he looks like this from the front. So this is the TIE Fighter itself. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, it's got a couple of different shades of gray and it also uses some black as well. Uh, the only red that we see are these two things here and these are actually darts that come out. I guess they're sort of supposed to simulate laser beams that come out. I'll show you those in a second. Um, as you can see, these things do fold down and uh, that's sort of when it's in its sitting position and then this does open up and this does open up and it looks really, really cool like that, I think. Here's a bit of a better view of the inside. You can see he's got his little steering wheel here and he's also got a little seat where he can sit down there. And uh, I actually just noticed, I forgot, but there's actually some uh, red on the sides right here and right there. That's supposed to simulate some lights possibly. And this is what it looks like when you put the fighter pilot inside. And as you can see, then we can close the top and we can close the bottom of it. And you can still see him through the glass, which is a really nice feature. The top hatch actually looks really cool with this uh, printed decal on the top and also the front, it really makes it look like it's straight out of Star Wars with this because we see this on many of the uh, spacecrafts in the actual movies. Moving around the sides, you can also see that we've got a round piece and that looks really nice and we've also put a sticker on the side and that works for both sides of the aircraft. Other decals you can see also are these ones here and these ones here. Altogether, I think this was a really, really cool build. It's got a lot of really awesome movements, and uh, I really like how it folds down and becomes compact, so if I run out of room, I can always store it like that, and it'll look really cool. But the best feature I think that this one has are these two little laser beams that come out. And the way you operate those is on the back, we've sort of got this swivel, and when you turn it one way, it shoots one of them out, and when you turn it the other way, it shoots the other one out and they actually come out with quite a bit of force. You can ask my girlfriend. I shot her and she was not too happy about it. And then of course you can uh, take the lasers and you can put them back in one at a time. And then if you'd like to sleep on the couch, you can shoot your girlfriend again. Pow! So altogether, I think it's a really nice set. It was really fun to build and I'm very disappointed that my footage was corrupt and I wasn't able to get uh, you know, time lapse of it and stuff because I was really looking forward to filming another one, but I think that uh, I'll have better luck on my next one. So I will see you guys on my next video.